Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy. It's a blessing. It's an honor to be out here in nature and being well connected and listening to the song of the running river. And as I would always say, every river ends in the sea and the sea have no beginning and have no end. So our life is mapped out right in nature, showing us the journey of life where we will journey but we will have basically a river experience to a sea of knowledge and where we would experience the journey of life from humanity to divinity. That's the reason why I choose to speak to you concerning secular Christianity equals stupidity. And when I say secular Christianity, I'm speaking about where people believe the Bible to be secular history and believe that the Bible is literal. But I want to say to you that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. For the Bible is not literal, neither is it secular history. For example, if the Bible was literal and the Bible was secular history, can any religious person or any Christian tell me of one thing that was done in the Bible whether good or evil, that wasn't for psychological, or that wasn't for a thought, or that wasn't for imagine. So my brother and my sisters, it will always go back. I'll point you back to the law of mentalism. That everything is false mental, that everything has to force be a thought. So right there he's showing you that when you believe the Bible is literal and the Bible is secular history, right there you are messed up in your mentality. And when you are messed up in your mentality and your thoughts is what is creating your reality, you're going to produce a messed up life. That's the reason why our people are producing mediocrity and poverty and, we are, and most of our people are depending on secular education because they have an employee mentality. And the educational system is set up in a way to have our people to just love employment. So most of the time when the children leave school, the next move is finding a job. When we are to teach them how to cultivate an entrepreneurial mentality, but the school system doesn't teach the people how to cultivate an entrepreneurial mentality. So they teach the children in school about Jesus Christ and when they come up, when they leave school and they go and they find a job and then a little bit later when they start getting older and reality starts striking them then they join themselves to a religion and then they believe in secular Christianity they believe in a literal man 2000 years ago named Jesus Christ and when they do that they are involved in idolatry. So my brother and my sisters, our people have been given over their creative power basically to the white man because, I want to say the, the white man, it is because we were given a white idol to worship. And anyone who is honest would say yes. Whenever they were shown an image of Jesus Christ, it has always been a white man. And if you go to the schools and you ask the children, what complexion that is Jesus Christ that they are speaking about is he. They will tell you he's white, he's not black. But the truth of the matter is, there has never been any man 2,000 years ago with special powers called Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is a personification of your own human imagination, which is the creative power in man. That's the reason why St. John 1 and verse 3 tells you that without him, that him, it's speaking of your own human imagination. Without him, there isn't anything made that was made and that all things was made by him. Could you tell me of one thing in this world that was made that wasn't first imagined? Or can you tell me of anything in this world that ever going to be made that must not first be imagined? And I'm saying all of this to show you that secular Christianity really equals stupidity. And when our people waddle in such belief system, it is showing their stupidity. 
Therefore, the slave masters, work on investors, have a right to come down in these parts and build arenas and, and, and hotels and employ them and treat them like slaves. And I'm saying that because that happened that have happened in my country. And many have learned their lesson. And if, if they reopen that place again, which I believe they're actually going to do that, which is uh, like uh, I'm speaking about Bukumen Bay Resort in, in, in this case. Many of our people are going to go there again because the people only have a, a, a employee mentality. But all of that is coming because of the belief system. The kind of Christianity they believe in. The kind of Christianity that has been teach, been taught to them. So my brother and my sisters, all around the world, wherever you are, if the system is the same, like how I'm saying here, because I do not know the school system like in America, Canada, England, and those kind of places, which I hardly believe is like how it is down in the Caribbean. Every morning the children have to sing all of these Caesar songs, their program. And the people in these parts, they don't like change. And it's like blasphemy to be speaking about Jesus Christ and saying that Jesus Christ never exists. People just look at me strange, thinking that I'm crazy, thinking that, that I'm mad. But in truth and in fact, I'm M.A.D., which is mystically a divinity. Okay, because I know who I am. I know myself. I know my true self. I'm a self-realized being. I've awakened from the dream of life. So my interpretation of mad and their interpretation of mad is different. Okay, but the point I want to get across to you is time for us to put an end to the stupidity that, in, that has been taught to us through Christianity, and I mean secular Christianity, because I'm teaching true Christianity, because true Christianity is discovering your true identity, is knowing who you are. True Christianity is self-realization, because that's what the Bible is teaching, self-realization. But you have to interpret the Bible psychologically. So, I hope what I've said make sense to you and if what i've said is really resonating with you and you would like to know more about what i teach and how to put it to work in your life and when i say how to put it to work in your life i'm talking about how to use your imagination to create your reality consciously and, and obtain things that you would like to have in your life so you can live sumptuously i have a link below with some of my books and you can check it out and see which one you would, you, 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 you would like to read and feast upon and put to work in your life. Now at this time, I want to give you this sign, the sign of enlightenment, of which many deceived people believe that this sign is an evil sign because they are misinformed. But in Matthew 6, 22, it tells you that if your eye be single, that your whole body will be full of light. That's the reason why I'm giving you now the sign of the single eye because this message if the single eye message of self-realization where it says if I be single your whole body will be full of light and I'm saying to you my brothers and my sisters when you have the experience you come to realize it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and you come to understand Malachi 4 and 2 which tell you that the S-U-N shall arise in you with healing in his wings and when you and you will also come to understand Psalms 84 11 which say the Lord your God is a son when you have the experience and you come to realize that without the sun there is no life and there is no light and that the sun is the light of the world and that Jesus Christ of 2000 years ago and you will also come to realize that with all the human imagination there isn't anything made that was made and that the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun and we are the people of the sun who are the greatest conductors of such great energy that powers the earth Therefore, my brother and my sisters, let us use our mind power to achieve our every desire and put an end to stupidity. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you, I'm out.